Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited to walk you through a review of Blinks. This is by Move38 Inc. and I want to thank them for sending me these Blinks to review for you. These are very cool games that come with six in a set and I have here the regular set and the expansion. So let's get started. Alright, because these are requiring light and I want to make sure that you can see them well, I have turned off everything so you can't see me except for parts of my hands and the lights of the blinks here. So this is Puzzle 101. So anytime you pick a game, you will pick the game this way in case it's Puzzle 101, you can't see that. But what you do is you press this, long press, and it'll turn into this ring of blue here. And that means that this blink is now ready to teach the other blinks how to play this game. So you connect it, and then as you can see, the rest of the blinks turn blue as they're learning this game. And you'll know that it's ready to go when all of the blinks have stopped with this blue learning process. So we're just gonna wait here while they learn. Okay, so now the Blinks have learned this game and the best way for me to describe each of these games is watch the videos that Blinks has actually put out because they, are, they do such a good job at explaining each of the games and how they work and things like that. I'm just trying to do a quick overview of each of these Blinks for you so you can kind of get an idea of what they do. But Puzzle 101, this means that it's ready to, to start the game. I double click on it and it goes into these colors. Now the thing on the screen is that on the camera, you can see that these lights are actually blinking, but in person, they're actually solid. They look completely solid. So the way you do this game is, you're supposed to connect the colors. So in this case, pinks needs to connect to pinks. And when you have made a successful connection, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it'll blink on and off to show that the connection is successful and that is a valid connection. So you keep playing this game until you have all the blinks blinking on and off to show that the game has been won. So let's try to see if we can win this game. So as you can see, all of the blinks are blinking to show that the puzzle has been won. And that is how you play Puzzle 101. Next game we are learning is Wham. So Wham is like a whack-a-mole game. Okay, so in Wham, you can set your terrain up in any way that you'd like it to be. Uh, I'm gonna set mine up like that, sure, something random. To start this game, you double click, and now what we're trying to do is we're going to whack the moles. And you have a timer, as you can see with the red when they appear, they start counting down to show that once that timer is out, you lose. So this is exactly like whack-a-mole but with different colors and it's very quick and you have to pay attention to it and it's a very fun game especially since you can add more blinks to this game which is so fun okay and i'll show you now if i don't press one in time it's over and i have lost and that is wham 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 it okay so speed racer another one of my favorites all right so you have a road, and this is the road here, and your goal is to just not crash. 
And the way you do that is you have to continue the road when your car is going, which I'll show you. So this is the car and you can see that it's traveling to different blinks on the road. And when it crashes, it goes red and that's how you know you lose. So the way you connect the blinks, these red lights, have to connect to the other side of the blink and that's the way that you make it a little bit more difficult with this game is you can't just connect them. You have to be very careful with this but the more blinks you have it can be harder because you're trying to Go, and I'm trying to talk while doing this and it's almost impossible and I lost <laughs> so that is how you play speed racer but it is very cool especially as a single player game but now we have one more single player game that I want to show you before we move on to the two player games and that is Zenflow and Zenflow is not an actual game it's more of a calming Zen type of thing Okay, so the Blinks have learned Zenflow. How Zenflow works is literally just changing the colors of the Blinks. So you can disconnect some of them and make them a different color and add them or, you know, change them. There's really, there's no rules to Zenflow, but it is pretty calming when you play this. Just looking at all the different colors. It's just like a calming experience, which makes, a sen makes sense why it's called Zenflow. And then when they're all back together and you click on them, it'll all go back to the same color. So. I like creating different options, but if you double click them as well, it will do random colors. And it's just fun to see how many you can get or what colors you, color combinations you can get. And it's kind of just like a color palette. It's pretty cool. Another thing that you can do is, you know, when you double click them, you can do other things like, you know, connecting the same colors if you wanted to, that they combine, see how many you can get. You can guess or wager you know, by selecting certain amounts. Bet on the colors that will appear. See if you win. There's two reds, three yellows, two oranges, and three blues. One light blue and one purple. But yeah, that is how Zenflow works. It's just really a relaxing experience that you can really make into your own. Now, let's move on to the two player games. With the two player, I'm actually gonna turn the light back on and just show you the games on the other sides and kind of talk a little bit about them. I'm not going to go through all the gameplay to make sure that this video doesn't go too long for you, but if you're curious on how to play the games, Move 38 Inc does a great job at explaining each and every one of these blinks separately in their own video so you really understand how many blinks, who is it meant for, how to play the game, things like that. But let's get started on the two player games. Okay, so for Fracture, you're playing this with two players and you're trying to fracture your different colors to make your blinks happy. Barry, what you're doing is you're trying to create, create designs or colors with your blinks to gain points. And if you for somehow make all of your blinks one color, you win this game. Flick Flock is kind of like bowling where you are sliding your blinks and connecting them and getting points that way. Mortals is you're trying to be the last blink alive by not dying. These are widgets or kind of like an accessory game uh, where you can use these for rolling dice or flipping a coin or by using the Wheel of Fortune. They're kind of just uh, multiple widgets to give you easier access to like probability type of things so if you want to flip um, your coin or use dice and things like that and 
Move 38 shows you how you can go between these multiple widgets that are on here, but it's pretty cool that there's four of them just in the one. And then Astro is all about collecting specific colors to your ships, and the person who does that all in consecutive six times wins the game, and it'll show by counting down and the color uh, of what you need to use for this. So that is all the blanks, and these are all the single players. Specifically, this one could be also a single player. And then these are all the two player games that come with the base set and then the expansion. But let's move on to final thoughts to see what I think about this game. All right, so my thoughts on Blinks. Blinks are like our mini arcade games that have been brought to you in a compact way. Games that can be played with one or more players and have a lot of variability with their games. One thing I could say that I wish was a little different is that you're able to pick your games and in the way that they have it set up now is it comes in each set. So you get this one with one set and this one with another one. You can't pick and choose right now, which I know kind of why they're doing that, especially since they were just starting and they were having these games being made. They wanted to make sure you had an equal set for each one and you had equal blinks because some of these games require six blinks or more, but minimal is usually six. So that makes sense. But maybe in the future when there's a lot more blinks, having that variability to choose the ones that you want and which ones you don't want, I would like that a little bit better. Some of these games I enjoy but don't really play that much, like Zenflow. Zenflow is a, a very calming game. And for me, I just don't play this at all. I like the colors and everything like that, but it's not really something that I want to bring out. Um, same thing with Honey. Honey is a simulation type of game where you know, you're trying to get flowers and bees and simulate the honey production. And though I like the idea of it, it's not a game, again, that I would play, nor the widget here either. The widget is very handy, I guess, if you want something like that. But for me, I have different stuff on my phone that simulate that for me already. So it's kind of like, eh. But at the same time, because I have these two sets, I am able to play more games that have more difficulty because of the blink. So in that case of having this extra widget, which is honestly just an added bonus to the game, it allows me to play games with more blinks, which gives it a little bit more difficulty for that. So if I would have said, if I would have liked it to have it or not to have it, I would have liked to have it because it gives me more blinks. So the back of the blinks have these kind of button-like feel and it's kind of nostalgic on the way of old flip phones or phones that actually had buttons on them if you don't have a phone that is a smartphone that no longer has buttons. I um, am a person who likes to click pens and different stuff like that, like, like a nervous tick or like a fidget thing and these are so satisfying to actually click and blink and the lights as well are also satisfying. I feel like they play it on the casino poker, like the light thing, because it becomes very addicting when you start playing some of these games and you see the lights and you're just like, I wanna win and I wanna go. All of these are very much, you know, quick games, I feel like, besides the couple that are all more of the relaxing, and that's probably another reason why they put in more of the relaxing games is to be like, not have everything be so quick and speedy and having to get through it, you know, you could relax a little bit and just enjoy the colors and things like that. But most of these games are something that you're like, okay, I have to go through this really quickly or I have to win or I have to collect the most or I have to, you know, do this or that and you're going against your opponent or yourself and things. But they're all fun. Um, so I said Puzzle 101 was my favorite. My next favorite would probably be, I think Speed Racer because I enjoyed that, playing that by myself. I kept trying to add more blinks and make it more difficult for myself in the game. Um, and then after that, I think Wham is another one of my favorites because it's like whack-a-mole and it's nostalgic and you're just sitting there like pressing these buttons really quickly and my cat was just constantly trying to come up to me like what was going on like she kept like 
trying to get into my business, like, what's happening? This is exciting. And I'm like, you know, trying to push her away as I'm trying to whack a mole. But I enjoyed these games. I actually ended up getting the next set because I love these games. And there is a Kickstarter coming out for these games that I will link down in the bio for you so you can see more of what they have to offer. But another thing, I know I keep adding more stuff to this review, but another thing is all these games were made by people individually. So if you have an idea for a game, something that Blinks can actually make, they will make that into a game. I mean, not guaranteed, you know, you have to pitch it and sell it and stuff like that. But it's cool that these were created by all individual people that said, hey, I want to make a game, so I'm going to talk to Blinks about making this game into a reality and coming up with a new game for them. But really the possibilities for Blinks are endless and the fact that they keep coming out with more and more and more and more tells you that these guys are not going away anytime soon and that they will keep coming out with different games. And that's very exciting because the more Blinks that you have, for your games will just add more varying levels of difficulty, will add more players, and it, the list keeps going on and on for these games. But I am a big fan of these. I think it's genius on what they did with these blinks and how they came up with that idea that this is not just one game. You're talking about 12 different modules, 12 different games, 12 different themes to one game that you can get here and that is just so cool and I can't wait to see what other games they have out there because I'm addicted and apparently I can't stop touching them because they're so fun to play with but I hope you enjoyed this review of Blinks and I'll see you next time guys. <laughs> you want me to do it again? Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited to... <laughs> Come on baby, my channel. Did you hear that? <laughs> You're like, we're so excited to be here. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I didn't hear it. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, the buttons. Sit there and press yeah. Button. It does feel like that. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's like what you're missing your, your flip phones and your buttons. <laughs> so button these, button. so these, I want to make a game and I'm going to, can you get that for me? Yep. <laughs> and I'm going to throw it across the room. said, hey. Oh, no. Did you bury yeah. The more blinks that you have for your games, it's just, it's just more fun. Okay. Huh? Okay. 